This video and others like it are funded by viewers like you. Thanks for your support. Okay, in this video, I want to talk to you guys about where the hell are you? Where are the guys? I mean, I'm in the States. I'm still in the States for my Colombian people. I'm in Houston, Texas, and I'm going to many, many, many places. I'm outside, and there's no guys. I'll put it this way. There's a serious shortage in guys, so I want to ask the question today, where are the guys? Let's jump into this video right away. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, Erasing Borders. And now, the news. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob, Erasing Borders. My name is DC Rob, or DC Born Rob, or Rob C. Now on my local channel. For anyone who watches me in Houston, I have another channel that focuses on Medellin, Colombia, and travel to Colombia, as well as travel wherever else I go. Uh, it's called DC Born Rob, Erasing Borders. I'm DC Rob on that channel, but I'm Rob C on this other one. It, it's difficult to explain why, but I need to separate my personas because if you search for Rob C versus DC Rob, you're going to get the other channel. So I'm going to post this video on both channels. But the reason I'm doing this video is because outside recently, I mean, I've been out here for a good three, four months now. Okay, actively, I'm out here I'm meeting people. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying life. Um, for those on my new channel who don't know, my prior channel will probably know that I broke up, what, a year and a half ago. Um, and for a good year, I was just chilling. In other words, not ready for a relationship or not ready to meet anybody else. So I was not outside. I was inside. I was focusing on my health. I was doing YouTube. I was doing my day job and travel and, and just eat right and taking care of my health when I come home, which health is number one. And you need to know that. If you don't have that, you don't have anything. And don't bring anybody in your life if you're not healthy. Get healthy first. I can tell you that mentally and physically. But anyway, I'm out and about and I'm out at some of these clubs and I'm recording uh, either with my uh, phone camera or I have my, my Osmo or my, my uh, action cam. And as I'm recording, I'm not paying, sometimes I don't pay attention to what I'm looking at. I mean, I may even be looking away while I'm looking at it, but I'm looking through the camera and I'm noticing where the guys at. I mean, there's some guys. Yeah, but like it, it may be 20, 30%. I went to one event at Tribeca here in Houston, which this I've always wanted to go since well, I heard about it a couple of months ago. It's like, I don't even know if it's a club, but it's a private space that can be rented out and turned into a club for celebrations and so on. And this was Spud Howe's birthday party. And so I got the invite from the uh, promoter. And so I went on by. Place is nice, couches, everything. And as I'm looking through the lens again, looking, it was like a couple of couples. The promoter, me, a busboy, the bartenders were even females. I was like, I mean, the girls I, I sat next to, uh, it was one guy over here. I mean, I counted literally, I mean, maybe three or four guys in this whole place. And there must have been a hundred people in there. So I'm asking the question, because I'm flummoxed, if that's the correct word. I, I am at a loss for words. Where the hell are all the guys? Now, there's some places, so I'm trying to figure this out. There are some places where there are guys. You can go to a cigar bar and you're going to find guys. Not necessarily going to find the women there with them. But the new thing now is it looks like there's a lot of hookah bars and if you don't know hookah it's the pipe you know it's like a big bong but you smoke in the carcinogens i don't get it but i mean i don't know if it's addictive or i don't know what it is but my ex and i went to dubai years ago and we brought a huge pipe well she brought a huge pipe back magnificent thing until we started uh, we were going to fire it up at home and we read the ingredients it was like oh well, hell no but anyway those hookah bars are everywhere and then you got cigar bars a lot of the cigar bars it looks like are a cigar bar slash bar club so, you know, you have the quad, which got a nice little room outside. You have Urban Smoke and Urban Social right next to it. Um, you have Five Central with a cigar bar upstairs, the clubs all downstairs, restaurant is like five places at one. I mean, so these places are all over. So I noticed in the cigar bars, yeah, there's, there's more than likely gonna be guys. So if I go to Urban Social or Urban Smoke, there's gonna be guys there. So I don't know if they smoke the cigars and then come out into the regular club. So that's why there's so many. Hell, one night I was there, I sat at the bar, and it was like a group of African brothers, because I started talking to them, and from Nigeria, and it was like five of them, and I was looking around, it was hard pressed to find, you know, a woman, a single woman in there to talk to, and I was like, 
uneasy with them odds. So, okay, I don't want that. Because the next week when I came back, I was like, yeah, yeah, when I reserved a seat at the bar, which you can at Urban Smoke, I reserved reserve the seat at the bar. And uh, as I came in, I was like, hey, did you did you do me a favor? Did you get more women in? Because I asked when I made the reservation, do me a favor, get some more girls up in here. Because last week was a struggle. Anyway, I walked in, there was some girls. Except that's the one that had the girl at the end of the bar that was, who are you? Go back and look at that video. And this, I think it's entitled, uh, I Met One of Those Girls You Guys Love to Hate. Anyway, for the most part, the cigar bar is that, 5 Central, a lot of guys, a lot of girls. I mean, it's a, it's an even crowd. Some of the other places, and I don't know if it's got guys that just don't want to spend that money to go out or blow and waste, because it does cost. I mean, it's not cheap no more. I mean, I learned recently that it's cheaper to go out by yourself and buy five girls a drink than it is to take somebody out with you. It's just financially strapping. I mean, a drink can be $18. Sorry, Ma. It can be $18, and then they add the gratuity onto it, too. And let me put this, let me stop this video right here. Let me slam on the brakes, okay? Because you need to pay attention when you sign in these receipts at these bars. Uh, what happens is, because uh, I sat at the bar, I sat at Love, and I asked the bartender, how's this additional 20% always adding on or 18%, whatever it is, added on to the check? How's that working for you? Because, you know, I, I, I tip heavy because I've been in a business. I grew up in the business in the bar restaurant industry back in D.C. So I tip heavy. Uh, he says, oh, no, we, we do good. And so I started thinking, I know why you're doing good. Because, okay, you want your check. They give you a check. You see the total. You don't recognize that there's already a 18 or 20 percent tip already included. Then you say, OK, um, you put your credit card down. So now they go back and run your credit card and they give you the receipt. And it says some places, some places say total and have a line for tip and then the total. That's deceptive. That's wrong and should be illegal. The way that some get around it is it says additional tip. OK, you did tell them. I mean. Well, I don't know if they tell you ahead of time there's a 20% added gratuity of some sign probably on the menu. But that don't help you if you're buying a drink. Because you probably, hey, I walk in, I want Long Island Ice Tea. You're not looking at the menu, so you don't even know that there's going to be a 20% tip added on to it. So that's deceptive, that extra tip line. Because what happens is you get too much to drink. And I'm putting emphasis on this in this video because this is a ripoff in a lot of these places. Make sure you pay attention. Don't get too drunk. And don't pay attention to there's already gratuity already included in it. If you want to give an extra dollar or two, do that. But make sure you check your check. Is gratuity or ask them. Sometimes I just ask, is a gratuity added in this? Because this the small print sometimes is dark. You know, sometimes there's bright blue lights or bright red lights to wash out what you're reading on that receipt. I'm stopping again to pay attention to this because I don't want anybody to, to get got like this. I'm in the business, so I'm always watching. And I and I work a lot with, uh, really closely with a lot of credit card companies. And if you notice, a lot of these bars are going totally cashless because they don't get the percentage when you pay cash. So they're forcing all the resellers to use. Anyway, I'm going off on another tangent, but make sure you check that line. Make sure that gratuity is not included. And if it says tip, ask them, is this additional tip? Or, you know, look at your receipt. They're supposed to give you a receipt. A lot of times when they give you the credit card receipts back, you know, the your copy and the customer copy, that they take away the original receipt. Make sure you have that original receipt. Make sure you keep your customer copy also. Anyway, I'm off on that. But maybe I'm starting to think maybe guys just don't want to blow that money. I'm saying um, going out on a date or even going out looking for girls because the, the main place I notice the shortage of women are probably the nicer places too. Okay, I'm going to name in Houston Love, that's L-O-V-3. And I mean, beautiful women in there, but it's like couple. And the couple, some of these couples are real couples. Yeah, I'm figuring this out. I mean, they, re I, they just gave up on women. I mean, gave up on men. And they just either got a dog, like Kevin Samuel said, or it, they just dating each other because i've seen couples i've seen and the girl will put her arm around the other girl to let you know when you're looking over there because they'll be two good looking girls and you you look at them and the one girl will go uh no and she'll put her arm around her girl so 
I mean, that's going on too. Women, are you all just, everybody flipping just to, I mean, I just see something wrong with society in this. And I'm talking about black folks here, at least the places I go to are uh, African-American. So, but I'm noticing this. Now, when I go out, I'm going to the bar and I tell you at the end of my local videos, you know, look to the left and look to the right. Talk to that person sitting next to you at the bar or standing next to you up against the wall or whatever. The universe saw fit to put them in your life for a reason. You're always asking for something. We're all wanting something else that we don't have. But when you put that energy out there, that person may be there to deliver it. If you don't talk to them, you don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. But... So uh, again, like love is an expensive place. Kiss, I went to Kiss. This place was so nice when I walked in last Sunday to hear the band and record the band, The City, which is live. That band is live. But I walk in, I mean, they had a little red carpet on the outside. I mean, it wasn't too fancy on the outside, but it did have a red carpet going up to a door. And then I, I show the plaque and I don't know if I have the video here, but, and then I walked inside and I was like, whoa, this place is nice. When I went in, I came back out, I asked the hostess, you sure I can afford to be here? This place looks like sit. And I walk in and I said, that's another one. I'm sitting at the bar and I'm looking. There's a couple of women over here. There's a couple of women over there. There's a table of five women over there. There's a table of four. There's three more around the curve. There may be eight guys in the whole place. And a couple of couples came, did come later, but for the most part, it, it was it, there was no more than 30% men there. So my, my question again is, and please in the comments section, either on my local channel in Houston, Big City Houston, or uh, DC Born Robin Racing Borders in Columbia, you tell me, because you guys do travel. It, it's not all passport bros are leaving the country. Because first off, I mean, if you can't afford to be spending money on drinks, you can't afford to leave the country. Most people can't afford to fly and travel internationally and stay for periods of time. They got a job here. So most people don't do that. So please don't comment they pass more bros and they leaving because that's probably percentage is probably less than 1%, less than one tenth of 1% if I had to guess. So, but, but I'm asking, cause is it the nicer restaurants? Is it because they're, they're nice? I went to socials, watch women. I went to a birthday party last week. Hell, I went to two birthday parties in the past two weeks. Both I was invited by a young lady that I met out. So, and you know, I met her last week. She invited me this week and I went to the birthday party last night. And as I'm recording, I'm looking around and I'm going, one, two, three, four, five. I counted 13 guys. Now that, if I had to guess how many people, I didn't count all the people, but I would guess just looking a dozen and you know, 10 times 10. I can see that there's at least 70, 80 people there and only 13 were men. Okay. So, and, I, and I'm thinking, man, where, where are all the guys at? I'm at another spot earlier in the week on, well, was it Monday and Wednesday, but, because <laughs> I heard uh, Jenny P on Wednesday. But anyway, I got there early and it was, the place is so small, there's no seats and they're reserved seats. And um, that was Monday for Miriam. So, and I'm, I see these three ladies sitting at, you know, a private table. And I said, is this chair available? Can I? Can I join it? Oh, sure. That's not our table anyway, because it was a reserved table. They're like, we hoping they don't show up. So we all sitting there chatting. And I got to ask them. Hopefully they'll see this video. Because I got to ask them. I said, hey, let me ask you, you ladies a question. Where where all the guys at? I mean, I, it's a group of three. You three girls came up with two were from out of town and, and one is uh, is from here. But the others come and visit often. But they see it too. And they, they didn't have an answer for it too. And I'm like, you know, I'm starting to ask ladies, do, do you have a dog? You know, it was Kevin Samuels right? Did you just give up on men and just got a dog? And I did mention that. And one of them said, you know what? The dog is loyal. <laughs> so I take that as uh, they think the dogs are more loyal than a man. And and the women are not looking for a man. And I've been told that women are not, I mean, because it was mentioned last night, oh, we, uh, independent women, it was a song that came on. Independent women, like, that's not a good song. Guys don't want to hear that. Guys don't want to, I'm an independent, I got my own house, I got my own car, I don't need nothing. Guys don't want to hear that. You don't need a guy. You especially don't invite a guy into that environment because he won't be happy, believe that. And maybe that's a struggle. Women are making money. They saying they don't need a man. I don't know. I'm just flummoxed. Uh, but I do notice outside 
that there are more, I, I mean, the guys in the grocery store, so I know you guys are still here. Um, you're still pumping gas at the gas station. Uh, you're still going to the convenience store, so I still see the guys are still here, but why are you not out? Even at a birthday party, why are you not? I mean, now I will say this, and I, I'm not going to throw this other YouTuber under the bus, but he's a foreign traveler. They got a label as the passport, bro, but he is back in the States and he's actually in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And I saw him. I just watched five. I couldn't take any more. I watched five minutes of it yesterday because he was on my feed. And he said, yeah, they, you know, they people up here, they don't want to talk to you. They're not friendly. They don't want to talk to you. Uh, I, 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 I try to meet people and, you know, people go out in a social environment and they don't talk to each other. They're just not social. I'm like, that's not true. Because you're social. You know, sometimes you got to be the man and walk up and talk to a young lady. But I talk to everybody. Fellas, bro, I like that hat, man. I like that jacket. Ladies, I like those shoes. I like that. I like the hair, man. I love the natural hair, too. And I stop and tell them, you got to talk to people. I mean, and talk to people and be genuine. Don't be awkward about it. Has something to say. But, I mean, that, that, that was a straight-up lie that, you know, people in Texas, Texas too, are antisocial and we all go out into a social environment and we don't talk to each other that's bs that's bs you ain't talking to them or you feel uncomfortable talking to them or you feel some kind of way where you feel like you got to leave the country to go find a good woman i'm telling you still fellas there's women here you don't have to leave the country i still don't get that if it's your preference it's your preference i, I get your preference you want to go and you want to leave or whatever you want to you know, especially if you can work from anywhere i straight up get that because hell i did it but it wasn't like I didn't leave the country for a woman. No. No. There's women here. There's women in the grocery store. There's women at all these bars. There's so many women I'm noticing and I'm having to do a video on where the hell are all the men. That's how many women there are out here. Now you may say they're not good women. Well, you don't know because you didn't meet them all. Okay? <laughs> how many did you meet? One said something to you at a bar that pissed you off, broke your heart made you feel some kind of way and you went home and you never went out again i mean they don't know you i don't get why guys take that pr well i get it because i used to but if you stop and realize the girl don't know you so how can you take it personal even if she goes mm, 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 you know she don't love you how can you take that personal well, she don't like the way you look so what you don't like the way some women look you pick it by who you pick am i right or wrong <laughs> you always want that baddie. You always want that ten. Am I right or wrong? Especially my Colombian crew. You always want that baddie. You always want that ten. That's why you go on to Colombia. And Colombia does have the most beautiful women. I mean, I've been all around the world. Not not everywhere, but I have been around the world. A lot of different countries, Southeast Asia. I've been all over. But I, I'm going to say Colombia has probably the most beautiful woman that I've ever seen in a, in a small, com, you know, compressed area. But they still women. You still got to talk to them. Stop leading with your wallet and going down just paying and talk to them and meet them. And if you go there, you, you, I mean, it's hard to understand a woman here, but you're going to go there and you can't speak the language. At least learn the language before you go down there. I know plenty of success stories. I want to put that out there. I know plenty of you guys watching this video right now have had success stories, have gone down and have a woman, have had a woman and dated there for years um, or got married or had kids. So... I know those stories are there, but uh, on a whole, that's a small majority because I know way more that let me know that they just got got when they went down. The girl stopped calling. When, she, when he stopped paying for something, she stopped coming around or stopped coming or that got wrong or got drugged and wrong. I mean, so um, so let's, let's negate that theory. But the women are here, guys. The women are here. Where are you? That's my question. Where I, well, I didn't know I was going to talk this long. It's been 20 minutes. I, I'm going to zip out of here uh, right quick. But still, guys, where where are the guys here? If you are here, where are you? If you are in Houston, where are you? Is it a fact that you don't want to go out and waste the money and blow the money? I get that. And, but then I go to other places, you know, Rock House, and, and it was a good mixture. Still was real. It was still groups. Oh, my God. Guys, it's like. Man, there's so many women here and so many good-looking women. 
And even if they ain't good looking, talk to them. You ain't good looking to everybody. Not that good looking to everybody. And are you healthy? Are you fit? Do you fit your clothes right? Do you smell good? Do you go out with that confidence? Talking to you fellas. Because uh, the, the, the women are dressing up for themselves. They ain't dressing up for us. It looks like to me. And sorry, ladies, but it looks like y'all, you, you like my hair. You like this. It looks like y'all consulting each other and you're not really consulting the men. Because I'm going to tell you, there's some things that I, I wouldn't promote women wearing or, you know, that's just me. I'm sure there's some guys that have their ideas, too. And ladies, you have your ideas. You always want that tall man. You want him this and that. He's got to make a certain amount of money. He's got to be strong. He's got to be a leader. But you will follow if he leads all that stuff. Anyway, but fellas, the ladies are out here. Ladies, where are the men? Somebody help me out. Tell me where are the men? I mean, I see some guys out there, and hopefully somebody will see this that knows me. One of, one of the partner I met a month or so ago, sitting at the bar talking to him. That's how I meet people. Just out and about, just walking through the bar, or just waiting to get in line to get the bathroom. I'm talking to people. I mean, it's, you're, the other dude was right. It's a social environment, so be social. Don't go to a social environment, don't talk to anybody, and then, then say, ain't nobody talking to you. Stop asking for IGs, too. What's your IG? Talk to them. Talk to them. But um, anyway, now I forgot the, the message I was going to say, the, the, the question I was going to ask. But anyway, where are the guys out? Oh, I was going to say, I just I met a partner about a month or so ago, and I'm sitting there, we're talking to him, and this man knows everything. And you know what? He's white. He's the only white guy in all these bars. And he is rolling. He got it down hot. I mean, as we sitting at a table and he goes over and talks to the ladies and singing, and I come back and I see him walking up to a table of four and go, hey, how you doing? Introduce yourself. I said, my man. And he's a good guy. He's a straight up good guy. I mean, the kind of guy, I'm a good guy. So I like to be around good guys. I don't like to be around nobody shysty. You cheating on your woman, I don't want to be around you. You know, you're cheating on your guy, I want to be around you. You that, you know, that's, I don't consider that a good person. So I don't associate myself with that. But if you're a straight up good guy like this one is, and my man is moving around the floor, he outside, trust me. So I, I don't see why other brothers can't do that. When you got a white guy coming in here, they're just rolling. And straight up good guy, a straight up good guy. You mess with him, you're going to have some problems. You have a problem for me. And you have a problem from a lot of other guys too, man, because he's a good guy. Anyway, where are the guys at? I, I've ranted long enough. You've heard my point of view. I, I just, again, I'm Columbix. Where are they? Ladies, did you run them off? Guys, did you run away? Anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. Okay, hold, hold, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Right quick. If you need to have things shipped to Colombia, shipped to someone else, or shipped to yourself to Colombia from the United States, make sure you reach out to CaribbeanShipper.com. CaribbeanShipper.com. The contact information is coming next. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're you're just so stupid. I, I had to send you a video to let you know you're so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Headed to Medellin, Colombia? See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. If you're in Medellin and you need dental work done, from a basic cleaning to major reconstructive surgery, come see my guy, Dr. Carlos Mori. Contact information in the description below. Thanks for hitting like. You did the right thing by hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. DC Born Rob.